watch the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 25th of January. A few rain showers passing through this evening. We turn noticeably colder tomorrow. We go below freezing, we think, by Friday morning. Let's dive in and talk about it. Water vapor satellite view, nice trough west of the state. On the radar at 236, a few showers over northwest Alabama. At that point, rain falling in parts of Lamar, Marion, Fayette counties in northwest Alabama. We'll see a few passing showers tonight. It's a mild January day. Birmingham at 70. Tuscaloosa 72, but tomorrow will be about 20 degrees colder. In fact, you can see that cold front is between Birmingham and Nashville. Nashville sitting at 58, St. Louis at 49. And deeper in the cold air, very cold in the western states. They're in the teens and 20s there this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. Winter storm warnings continue for parts of Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Other than that, things are pretty quiet around the nation. <clears throat> this is the uh, day one convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight, suggesting some thunder possible across the state tonight, but there's no chance of any severe weather. And quite frankly, I don't think many people hear thunder because the air is fairly stable. Rain for the next seven days, valid through Wednesday evening of next week, one half inch or less. And really, after tonight, we'll be dry for a while. This is the RPM model output, and I'm not quite as aggressive as the run I showed you this morning. This is suggesting everybody gets under one half inch, some spots getting under a tenth of an inch tonight. So obviously, it's not a big rain event. Model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. See broad troughing over much of the country. A colder air mass coming in. Pretty good north wind kicks in. The sky will be partly sunny. The high and the low 50s in most spots. Again, that's about 20 degrees colder than today. Friday, we start the day around 30, and that should be our first morning with a freeze since the 9th of January. It's a long way to go in January without a sub-freezing morning here. But the day will be cool and dry, the high around 50 areas north of Birmingham, probably holding in the 40s much of the day. The weekend, cool and dry. Saturday should be a sunny day, low 50s. Same thing Sunday, partly to mostly sunny, low 50s. Snow flurries possible north of here, parts of East Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia. Monday of next week, same deal, cool and dry. Lows around freezing, highs, low 50s. This is Tuesday, we're dry. Upper 50s to near 60. And a week from today, Wednesday, the 1st of February, troughing north of the state, a weak front dripping in from, dripping in, dropping in from the north with a few drips, uh, a few showers, but obviously the moisture is limited. That doesn't look like a big rain event. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, the 4th of February. Big trough in the western states, and again, moisture suggesting maybe a few rain showers for North Alabama. But again, we stress for the next 10 days, no winter storms, no severe weather, no tornado problems. Kind of a calm pattern here. Check the numbers off the GFS Ensemble. You can see the cool down. Highs for the weekend around 50. Lows, upper 20s, low 30s. And after that, temperatures pretty close to average for this time of the year with highs mostly in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.